College's Ron Rhodes. Uh, yesterday was 77 degrees. We had a lot of wind out there, but nice and warm. Today, nowhere close to that. And tonight, we've got a freeze warning out. And then tomorrow night, we've got a freeze. But here's the rub on tonight. Tonight, we're going to drop down to 30 degrees. So we're going to be a little below the freezing mark for a little while. Not that long, just a few hours. A hard freeze, that's going to be on Friday morning. We're going to drop below freezing for several hours. There's a hard freeze. We're going to be down into the mid-20s and without a lot of wind. Tomorrow, we're going to have enough of a breeze, not a big wind, not like last night. I think, it, I mean, I was awakened by it. I'm sure a lot of people were awakened by the wind, just whistling by the window. And if you had any, like, cracks or little seams that were open, you know, by your window, you heard it last night and you had a draft. But anyway, so it's like the wind is out there, but it's going to be around 5 to 10 miles an hour tonight. So, I mean, that should help prevent a lot of widespread frost. So wind may not help you when it's cold as far as blowing your body heat away from you, but it will help frost from forming. So that's good for you if you got out there and planted things over the weekend. I still would protect your plants tonight. Here's the thing. Make sure you like cotton or some type of fabric that's breathable, not plastic and to smother your plants. You don't want to do that. So anyway, it's going to be the next couple of nights you have to protect. And then just onward and upward temperature-wise as we head into the Easter weekend. With that said, let's take a look. At, that's quite a bit. Uh, anyway, we've got a look at uh, Superior Ag Camera. Of course, Deaconess Gateway getting close to lunch time. Uh, not a lot of traffic right now, but I would imagine it's going to pick up within the hour. One thing that has picked up, if you notice in the sky, some higher clouds. So more clouds moving in as expected, middle of the day, and a chance for a little bit of rain, too coming up in the next few hours. Show your radar in a second. Right now, let's take a look at downtown Owensboro. Now, farther to the east, though, still looking a lot of sunshine out there and a beautiful blue sky over the mighty Ohio River. And, of course, you got to look at the Ohio, too, from our downtown Evansville, Zemer Funeral Home Camera at Fifth Third Bank. And a little browner than usual. Even though it's on the rise, it is going to be falling soon enough and cresting well below flood stage on the Ohio. And there's the traffic on 41. Looks like it stopped at a light there at Audubon Village, but that's no big surprise. <laughs> but anyway, uh, when the light is green, things moving. And of course, the camera's moving a little bit too, thanks to that wind that's out there at around 15 miles an hour. Right now, north at 14, 15 to 25 sustained. And again, we had yesterday a gust of 42 miles an hour at the airport. Uh, we've already had a gust of 36, and I wouldn't be surprised if we equal that gust uh, really again, maybe even exceed it a little bit later on this afternoon. 52 degrees, not too bad though. Uh, considering the average high though is 62, we're still well below the average. As we take a look at temperatures across the board, still some 40s on the board too. Not much of a temperature run. It's 48 degrees in Vincennes. That's as chilly as I see. 49 in Jasper. It is 50 in Santa Claus. 51 in Owensboro. Is that it? Uh, our 52 and that's it. Nobody joining us at 52 right now. But I think we'll top out at 55, but with more clouds moving in over the next few hours, it's really going to plateau the temperature a bit. Wind speed wise, I wish it would plateau. Uh, a little lower than where it is right now. 20 miles an hour in Madisonville right now is the wind. That's the highest wind I see currently sustained. 14 Owensboro, 13 Jasper, 15 Henderson, 16 in Carmi as well as Flora. When the max wind gusts are factored in, look at this. We have a max wind gust. This was before daybreak, though, here in Evansville, 36 miles an hour. And again, we could uh, meet that or exceed that number uh, later on. 32 miles an hour, Owensboro, 33 miles an hour, the peak wind gust right now. Carmi uh, for the day and 32 miles an hour in Jasper. Freeze warning is out for tonight. It's a light freeze, so I'm not too terribly worried about the plants out there, but to protect them anyway. And that is, of course, the entire tri-state. And then we've got a freeze watch for tomorrow night into Friday. That's going to be upgraded to a freeze warning. It looks like it'll be a little worse as far as the freeze is concerned, a hard freeze for Friday morning. Live first morning Doppler radar. Well, if you look outside the tri-state, you can see a little bit of rain along the Mississippi River. Get a better view on Storm Tracker, this nice little break from the clouds as we've had the thicker clouds that were around at daybreak move out of the picture for the most part. Now we've got a few more clouds moving in, but at least we got some sunshine in between. And we'll get some sunshine at the end of the day, too. So not looking too bad there. As we kind of scoot over a little bit toward the Mississippi, you can see that rain uh, that is now moving into the Missouri boot heel and unfortunately heading in our direction. Yesterday, the rainfall amount at the airport less than a quarter of an inch. Had some heftier totals, though, down in western Kentucky. Some rainfall estimates around two and a half inches in Ohio and Muhlenberg counties in particular. So the southeast corner of the tri-state saw most of the rain yesterday. Still some rain down in Tennessee, but moving out of the Nashville area. But here comes just a little bit of rain. Doesn't look like it's going to be a whole lot more. And our future tracker really downplaying it. I do expect to see a few showers out there, and you see them on radar right now. Uh, but then by 3 o'clock, already starting to see some breaks. So it's in and out pretty quickly. And then out of the picture as we head into evening, and it's going to be a clear sky later on tonight. And of course, that temperature is going to tumble as a result of that. So even though it's a chilly day all in all today, we're going to be a lot colder tomorrow morning. And with the wind out there at 5 to 10 miles an hour, even though it's going to prevent the frost, it is going to produce a wind chill. We're going to see some 
wind chills down around 20 degrees first thing tomorrow. It's going to be a shock to the system after what we've been through. We had an 80 degree temperature just a few days ago and 77 yesterday. Anyway, Thursday's looking plenty sunny uh, for our April 1st as we ring in a new month. And then few, uh, rainfall forecast, seeing a lot of goose eggs out there. We might see a few dents in the rain gauge, though, with this rain moving in this afternoon. But again, only a few showers is all I'm expecting. High today, low to mid 50s, with more clouds moving in, but definitely a mix of clouds and sunshine out there. A few showers possible, but not probable. And the wind from the north-northwest, that's probable. In fact, it's guaranteed 15 to 25 miles an hour. Uh, over the next seven days, temperatures even chillier tomorrow. We begin April, of course, with that freeze in the morning, 45 for a high. You're going to think we got transported back into February, not uh, not April. Uh, but we're going to be seeing temperatures warm up a little bit on Friday after a hard freeze Friday morning. 65 Saturday sunshine, 70 degrees and sunny on Easter Sunday. So once we get rid of the clouds today and we shake those, we're looking at straight sunshine for the rest of the week. Looking like a delightful Easter Sunday. A little breezy, but not bad. I love it. I hey, we've been showing it. some eagle it. pictures lately. Uh, this right here, oh, I didn't, oh, I guess I didn't show it. Uh, we had a picture of an owl. I'll show that coming up here in a little bit. Give owls and, you know, equal time. Barred owls. Bar Not a barn owl, but a barred owl. Barred owl. We'll be back with more lifestyles right after this. Stay with us. Oh, I see that.